Much for coming out from giving us giving us my gift foundation. Thank you. So I believe we have the winner of the event to the 5k and Mr. Kelvin. How do you feel to be the winner of this event today? Well, first of all, congrats to everyone that came here this morning to participate in this all of the organizers, the police, the ambulance, and everybody and volunteers and everybody. The race uh, was a very good race, of course, it's very good. Uh, even though the sun is out, we didn't get much of the sun because uh, the trees and the atmosphere. People, I want to pay to day. Kelvin just didn't win the race. Kelvin win the race and we had to wait like 15 minutes for other people to come. I was in a van and Kelvin bussing for coming on the road. Kelvin, you did any special training for this event? Well, uh, I train regular every day, uh, two times a day for three weeks. Uh, so my session for the week is like 12, um, 10 to 11 times a day for training. So I'm always prepared. You know, but when I have big events, you know, you train more tactical. But uh, the days, this is my last race in the season. Until probably September, probably not the end of tomorrow. I'm going to get a little rest and do some uh, strength work to come back in September. And any a special diet or just a normal diet? Um, well, first of all, I don't use uh, no tablet, no supplements, nothing I know about that it can just do so like that you don't have a diet problem. With me, I can come and give you 15 minutes every time. Every time I run, I do that because the food I eat, whatever you put in will come out. So whatever my body could do, I do. I don't force it. I don't want to do no big time one time and then you can't do it back again. Yeah. So can be nice, all right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, so, Mr. Lee, you are right there. You are the winner of the female part of the 5K. How does it feel to run? Uh, it feels good. And it, it feels good to run for a good cause. Yeah. So, what inspired you to do this? Um, well, um, I, I um, do road races um, all over Trinidad and I go to different countries and well, I always like to run and especially when there's a good cause, it's always good to come out and support. So you heard about this event? Um, I found it online and a friend shared it with me, shared a flyer with me. Would you yeah. in, um, encourage anyone to do events like this? Yes, yes, it's good to, to um, especially to um, uh, like make the youth aware of um, different things that go on with different people around the world. Yeah. You have a special diet? 
No, no sé. Yo sé, yo no me quiero decir, ¿no? Yeah. Sí, yo sé. A ver, en eso. Sí. Hay que ver lo que es, ¿no? Sí, yo sé. It's nice, it's nice one. Well done. Thank you. Well done. So here, Mr. Kyle Bone, you're the person who spearheaded the open, the eyes of your heart, 5K today. What really inspired you to do this? Um, well, basically, what inspired me and my organization was the fact that we moved to a family called the Belgos family. Uh, they are here presently. Uh, they are visually impaired. Uh, some are actually totally blind. And we had an encounter with them, uh, some youth from our church. And in dealing with them, we realized that their needs were not being met. And, you know, it kind of inspired us to really work on something like this. And that's how the whole idea came about. At first, the name was, um, I want to see you. And then speaking to the blind, we realized that the cry of the blind was not that I want to see you, but I want you to open up your heart to me. Because they felt, or they feel actually, like we see them with our physical eyes, but our hearts, you don't really see them. By the way, this is my cousin and I'm very proud of him. Right yeah, now. man, yeah, man. I'm very proud of him. I just have to put that out there. So, any events again this year or this is the last one? Um, this year, we, I could tentatively say that we are having a Christian Bible trivia competition for all the Christian churches in Trinidad. We go look out for that. We're looking at somewhere around November. Targeting you, so Ta anybody, anybody all, all age groups, it would be you know structured in a format that everyone can participate. So, we're looking for about 100 churches, it's going to be really big. So, don't miss it, look out for it. Yeah, start a yeah, start a start again to your word, right? So that you know you'll be ready. We want to thank Digicel for sponsoring us. We want to thank Encore Rentals and Transport Services, also for optical. Uh, here doing visual screening to all those, you know, if you need to get your eyes test, feel free to go and, yeah, yeah, take advantage of the services. At the end of the day, in everything that we do and everything that I do, I must give thanks to God because that is the man who, you know, really is behind you whole picture and that is the man that deserves all the honor and all the praise. So, you know, all praise go back to God and nothing for me, all to God. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Bless.